Hey guys, you're watching the Truck and Rudy show. show. And stay tuned, he's got some good road trips for you coming up. <laughs> Much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for the... Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen It is another cold morning Minneapolis, I started noticing that my uh, fuel gauge is starting to go up and so that uh, at first I didn't think anything of it and then uh, as I was starting to starting to go up more and more it done a dang on me you know I think I got a frozen f cross line or something like that where uh, my fuel can't flow back to my passenger tank because uh, what it seems to be doing is just drawing the fuel out of the passenger tank but only return to the driver's side tank and the reason why I'm saying that is because I only have a fuel sensor on the uh, on the driver's side tank so if that fills up my fuel gauge goes up if that tank goes down my my fuel gauge would go down right so we got a problem but uh, there is a truck stop here in about five miles right now, so we'll go pull in over there. And I do have a bottle of 911 with me, which is a diesel additive for emergency case when I have frozen stuff. So what we're going to do is going to open up the tanks. We're going to look in the tanks and make sure we're going to have a 
look and then see how much fuel we have on the passenger side. I bet there ain't much left in there by now. And so what we're going to do is throw a little bit in there and then the rest will put in the, uh, into the driver's side. And then uh, I guess we'll continue on because I'm not having any shortage of power. So my fuel filters are definitely not frozen. So that part is not a problem yet. So we'll uh, go throw in some uh, fuel, I guess the icing emergency thing. The 911 is for emergency only, so uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, I don't know, I guess my mistake was last night I should have fueled up instead of uh, not fueling up. I wanted to wait till I get to Iowa because it's a better price for fuel over there, you know. I don't really like fueling up here in Minnesota. But I knew I was a little bit low. I was under a half a tank of diesel last night when I stopped. So I was worried about that last night and I was thinking about fueling up but I didn't so well that's my mistake I think I think that's my mistake so we'll have to uh, see what we can do about it hopefully this 911 will be enough to uh, resolve the issue because I do have enough fuel to get over there to Iowa and so I will go down to Iowa. I don't think I'll fuel anything up over here because uh, the stronger the 911 is, the better it's going to work. So if I can, uh, I probably only have about 80 gallons or something like that in the tanks. So what I'm going to do is pull this, uh, put this 911 in there and make it really strong. So hopefully that will uh, resolve my problem. And by the time we get over there to uh, Iowa truck stop where I want to fuel, Hopefully by that time it's been resolved, and uh, if so, then uh, I'll fill up over there. Well, I'll fill up there no matter what, but uh, at that time I'll definitely put some uh, fuel additives in there and make sure that uh, we uh, won't do this shit again. We won't freeze up, you know. Uh, but uh, I also do have an emergency set of filters with me, diesel filters. And I always carry them with me at any given time. Unless I would have to change them, then I guess I wouldn't have a spare one. But uh, I always keep an extra uh, diesel filter. I have two diesel filters, a big one and a smaller one. And so I do keep an extra one of each. And so in case my diesel filters were to freeze up, I would at least have a uh, diesel filter that I could replace it with. And I do have the clamp and everything to, uh, to unscrew it screw a new one on so I guess uh, my filters are not frozen it's just my line I think it's my crossover line that goes into my passenger tank so uh, we'll throw some stuff in here and hopefully I'll fix it so here comes the exit for the truck stop so we'll take the exit and we'll go take care of some business all right guys and gals we have uh, Put in some 911 into the diesel tanks, and uh, it doesn't appear to be gelled anywhere. I couldn't see anything in the tanks that it was gelling. The diesel looked fine, but I still put the uh, 911 into it. And uh, luckily for me, I had put in some shutoff valves last year on uh, on both of the tanks, brand new shutoff valves, and. Uh, what I did is I went and shut off all of them valves, uh, not all at the same time, but I shut off one side first and then I reopened it again, went to the other tank, shut them off, make sure that it's flowing completely through, you know, and it seemed to be doing all right. So uh, then I went and uh, shut off the return to the uh, driver's side. So now it's basically forced to be put back to the passenger tank. So now I'm seeing my gauge starting to go down. Now the million dollar question is going to be, once I open her back up, will it uh, still continue being equal or will it start putting more fuel towards the driver's side tank again? So we'll just have to keep an eye on it. See what it is. But I definitely put some 911 in there in case there is something that's frozen in there. Uh, so that way it can uh, the 911 can get to it and uh, it can
can be freeze it or whatever you want to call it. De ice it, I guess you can call it. So hopefully that will work. And then we got about 155 miles to go. And that's where we will fuel up. And hopefully by that time it's ran through it to a uh, enough times to where it's if there was ice in there that it will have relieved it of its misery yeah. but as the saying goes the uh, winter can always give you hard times and now it did do to me as well like i said now it's just going to be a matter of uh, seeing if it's going to equal out on its own Hopefully there's enough fuel going through there now, especially all it's just going back to the passenger side. Hopefully that will be enough to uh, be ice it if there was ice in there. So, but we are going to continue on if we can. So we'll see. Uh, my plan is to be in Clinton, Iowa for tonight. Yeah, and that's where I have planned to meet up with someone. That's right. We'll see if that will still follow through and go from there. Anyways, let's continue on rolling. And let's keep our fingers crossed that this is going to work out. This is going to resolve itself. We won't have more problems. Alrighty guys, we just left Evansdale while Elk Run Heights actually. Yeah. I filled up a little bit over there. Man, I was not impressed at all. That satellite pump was so slow. I was in there like half an hour trying to fuel up. That sucker was so slow it took, it only got 172 gallons and a half an hour. I was gonna take a shower and I wasted enough time in there already, so I just left. Seems like nothing is going my way today with fuel. Everything just seems to suck today with fuel. But at least we did have one positive thing happen today, and that's we got a reload. And that's going to Toronto. I just hope that they ain't going to cancel that on me too. Yeah. But anyways, let's continue on with our journey. Let's get down to Clinton. We got 123 miles to go. So let's put the hammer down and let's go. Alrighty guys and gals. We are at Pizza Ranch with Angie oh, and Chuck. Uh, Shock. Chuck? Angie's over there. Yeah. Angie is over here? Yep. Hi. Really? This is not Angie yet? No, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Alright. <laughs> anyways, we're going to go inside and have us a bite to eat, right? Yeah. That's the plan. All right, we'll go inside and see what they have. We're just gonna have a sneak peek on what it looks like up here. We're uh, standing in the line here, waiting to pay. But uh, yeah, this looks like a very nice place. We're gonna have a good bite to eat. Well guys, we are having a bite to eat. Look at what they got up here. Some pizza, some salads, some drinks. Having a good time, right? Yep, having a wonderful time. And we were ready for the main course because this place, Pizza Ranch, is here in Clinton, Iowa, is known for its fried chicken. Oh, so that's going to be good. Nice. For the ones who likes fried chicken, you're going to really like this place. Yes. So, Anyways, yeah. we're going to get to eat. <laughs> I'm hungry. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, now comes the best. We leave the best for the last. Let's have a look. We got us some ice cream. What do you got? Macaroni, cheese, Mac pizza, Mac and cherry. <laughs> <laughs> and I have just finished up my slice of cherry and I got a piece of apple. Apple, hey? Oh, yeah. Whoa. That looks like a pizza slice, though, eh? It is. Wow. That's Everything what that is, is too. Dessert, dessert pizza, they call it. Dessert pizza? Yeah, dessert pizza. Okay. They got like fruit, they got other foods like peach, uh, blueberry. They also got pumpkin here available, too. So. Oh, nice. So also they have a have cactus bread. It's just like a regular like yeah, a yeah. cinnamon type, uh, streusel type uh, stick pizza slices. So oh, nice, nice. That, so and it's 
uh, for the price you pay, you really fill it up because oh. I think of all the chicken we ate, it could have cost us a fortune at KFC. Oh. I mean, listen, I mean, oh, I am so full. I think you guys are too. If right? anybody was watching my channel, you know about my diet. Uh, yeah, my diet went. It just went front. out of that window. It, I it saw it go window. out there. <laughs> my diet just walked out that window and headed uh, south, further south, faster than I could catch up to it. So. <laughs> yeah, that's so right. So I have to st basically have to start all over. <clears throat> all right. We'll get to some ice cream here and then uh, we'll be right back. Alrighty guys, we got a new YouTuber here. You want to introduce yourself? I'm Claire. My channel's called The Claire Show. I just started. It's kind of, I've been told it's funny. So if you like funny things, then check it out. Oh, there you go. <laughs> we'll have to get in touch with you and see how we can get the link. Maybe we can yeah. leave the link in the... I had the link because yeah. I'm a subscriber to your show. Yeah. So. Yeah, maybe uh, you guys can get me the link and then we yeah. can leave it in the description down. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that's nice to meet you. Yep. And uh, as you know, I'm Trucker Rudy, so... Yep. It will bring you two packs when you can eat a little bit of Yeah. Yeah, so... Anyways, we're going to get out of here. We won't hold up uh, too much of your time, so... No. We'll do this officially. Nice meeting you. Nice to meet you, too. All right, we'll catch you guys all <laughs> later. Can I go check the mail quick? Yeah, check the mail real quick here, so... Oh, get so excited here. <laughs> probably jukebox. Uh, probably a telemarketer. Probably jukebox. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go check the mail. What are we gonna show Claire's channel? So basically, uh, yeah, what you could do is copy that and then. Yeah. Just send it to my messenger. I'm getting close to 7,000 views. Nice. Already lifetime. That's good. We'll probably get it probably easily this weekend, I think. Yeah, that's very good. And yeah, so... I think I'm a little over 200,000 now. Okay, here's Claire's channel right here. And, yeah, I'm going berserk because that's my phone. Okay. Oh, I yeah. Think, uh, just... Copy that, huh? There's my cut. Now I gotta go to your Facebook page. Yeah. No mail. No mail. Oh boy. Yeah, this is where the show happens, eh? So what happened to your lights? Well, you uh, took them down, right? I took them down because. Uh, oh yeah. The remote. Yeah. Malfunction. Is this yeah. Is this is the remaining of the uh, the ma magic overhead lights. Oh yeah, they all malfunction. <laughs> this remote does not work, so mm, I'm not okay. like I told my channel. I'm not out of money because we got it basically for free. So oh yeah, from yeah. Kohl's, uh, we cashed nice. our Kohl's cash for that. So. Oh yeah, and that. So oh boy, I wonder who that is. Oh, it's hmm. Big Jerry. Oh, I wonder who that is. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah, we're inside the uh, Chuck and Angie show's uh, house. Yeah, nice to come to their house and. Okay, there's your there's your clear show. It's okay. right set to you. It's right set to you now. Okay, let me see. Let's see if you got it. Yeah, let's uh, see if it confirms that's her channel. It's not coming yet. Usually, I get a notification. So yeah. It's still loading. No, it didn't actually come through yet. Did it go to your emails? I pasted it right to his uh, messenger. Yeah, but did you actually hit the... You didn't hit the send, did you? No, no. I don't think I hit send. No, you didn't hit the enter. Okay, yeah, I'll do Yeah, you still have the, the copy, though. Don't okay, yeah. Yeah, you should still have... You can usually just hit paste again. Yeah. Yeah, and then hit okay. enter. There we go. There we go. Now it comes. See, here's all of our. Yep. Here's, there your, is. here's yeah. your link. Yeah, I see it now. See, here's all of our bottle blends. And oh, nice. All the hockey pucks. Oh, wow. Uh, that came from, uh, I got that from one of the Mailers players. Oh, wow. And I got. Another stick there. Yeah. And nice. Oh, I gotta go in here. I don't wanna go in here. No, okay. It's, it's a tornado. <laughs> got, you know, we're big hockey fans here. Yeah. Wow. 
That's nice. Playing a guy who played hockey, but ended up playing professional baseball instead. Oh, really? And he played minor league baseball, so we have him signed here at the Lumber King Stadium here in town. And of course, what do I have? This what is uh, Tom. This is a former Mallet player, uh, Tom Minucci. Uh, Minucci. He signed it right there when he used to play for the Quad City Mallets minor league hockey team. Wow. And my prize, my prize possession, because I went dumpster diving. At There's the, the big screen. <laughs> we watch all our YouTube videos on that big screen. Nice. That is a huge screen. That's, I think, bigger than my TV. 57 inches from Whoa. here to here. Yeah, I think I, mine is only 46. And this is relatively a small one compared to one of our neighbors because they got almost a 70 inch. Ooh, whoa. This is my prize possession stick. I went dumpster diving at the Allstate Arena in Chicago. This really? is a Wendell Young stick. Wendell Young played... He will, he has three trophies to his credit. Uh, okay. I think if anybody knows Wendell Young in the I think eighties or early nineties, he won a, a junior hockey national championship. I think it was Memorial Cup in Canada. Mm -hmm. He also won a couple of Turner Cups in the uh, original IHL, and he also won a Stanley Cup. I think oh really? With, I forgot what team it was. So maybe one of your subscribers maybe know. Maybe it's. Uh, I think Detroit Red Wings, I'm not for sure. Okay. Maybe one of your subscribers can help me out with that one. Oh, but wow. This is the prize stick. In fact, one of my Facebook friends wanted to steal it from me when he came here uh, oh, a couple boy. years ago. <laughs> There's his coffee that he got. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> here you guys can see Tim Morton's coffee. Yeah. Nice. And don't forget your hot cocoa. Yeah. <laughs> your, prize, your prize hot cocoa, too, from Tim Hortons. That's right. No, it's our taco drip back. Well, actually, it's your prize possession, but yep. yeah. Oh, there you go. Some rich hot chocolate, eh? Yep. Nice. Now, <laughs> we, need, now we need one of you guys that talks to Tim Hortons, uh, CEO, tell him we need one here in Iowa. Yeah. Especially by the truck stop we hang out at. So. Yes, that's right. And that, so. Yep. Anyways, you yep. got some fish over there. Yeah, we got some goldfish. Nice. And then, well, a couple of kind of, they're not albinos, but they are goldfish. Mm -hmm. Okay. Get them back there. Yeah. They're kind of a little slow because we just changed the water not too long ago on this. So. Oh, nice. So they'll act a little. Oh, yeah. Our yeah. tried to put the camera in the water and they didn't want to go for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, there we go. Well, that's a uh, very nice place you got here. Yep, because we're all well big baseball fans of the Cubs. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and then we got more bottles. Yes, that's right. Let's so have a close look at what you got here. Yep. Here, nice. And of course, we got minor league baseball here in town. Oh, so yeah. The yeah. See, yeah. 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 The more, logo. More bobbleheads. Oh, wow. More over there. You must like them bob uh, yes, bobbleheads, yes. eh? Oh, wow. Yep. This is my mom and dad's wedding picture. Okay. And this picture oh, right here, if you don't know if you can here. tell or not, but yeah. that little tight right there is me. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's a little dark in here, yeah, so. It is. It'll be and a little then hard to see. We got the picture of the Chicago Bears uh, football stadium. Oh, yeah. And before the renovation. Oh, okay. Way there the in renovation. the corner, yeah. Yep. So nice. we're, a big, we're a big baseball fan. Comes for the major leagues. My leagues is the Lumber Kings. So nice, nice. To go. And of course, our patio up there. Mm hmm. I've I seen that. Jack, yeah. are you going to show the girl? Yeah, we'll just. Uh, we'll just here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look at cold out there. Yeah, it is, yeah. We do a couple vlog. We do a couple vlogs out here on our channel, and then mm -hmm. we got That's our electric. This is our electric grill. We can only have electric grills on the patio. No okay. gas. No gas. No. Uh, no gas, no charcoal. Just oh, electric. Yeah. So we're the only ones on the complex to have this. Oh wow! And that. So nice. we're the lucky ones because we're legal. <laughs> there you go. There you go. All right. I think we'll go make our way back to the truck here pretty soon, and uh, I think I'm gonna cut the clip here for now. We got quite a few minutes already. <laughs> well, guys, it has come to the time where we have to say goodbye to these folks. And I want to say thank you for the uh, takeout uh, dinner. They took me out to a uh, nice restaurant there, Pizza Ranch. Yes. And oh, we got safety lights. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. They got these. Uh, what do you call Dukes. them? Dukes. Yeah. yeah Dukes. With I can all, I can never remember what they are. They're called because I'm not Hi. English originally, you know. So it's 
sometimes it's a little hard for me to uh, remember what they're called but anyways they're enjoying my my uh, backyard here <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we're relaxing here like chill it out yeah, we're just yeah. waiting for the next load to come through we're waiting for the next uh, free plan to come through right now yeah anyways we're going to end the show here for today i think it's uh, been a fantastic evening mm -hmm. right yes it has yeah, yeah. I, I think it's been a fantastic evening so thanks anyways for for all the things you have done for me tonight and yep. uh, taking me a little yeah. tour through uh clinton here so yep. appreciate it so we'll uh close it here and we'll be back tomorrow at 2 a.m. so don't miss it it's time to get going it's time to move on put this behind me that day is gonna come